For a long time, we have been performing traditional squats, either you know, high or low squat, to develop athleticism. It's very common in high school and colleges. But think about it. Look at you know, most sports, or any sport, and ask yourself, which sport do you actually play on your heel? I mean, I really can't think of any. So think about it. A jump shot, basketball, you load on the ball you feed. A volleyball jumping in front of the net. You load again on the ball you feed. Even football, three-point stands, linemen, linebacker on the ball you feed. Combat, like grappling, wrestling, judo. All the time in the ready position, which is in the ball you feed. And I can keep going on and on and on. So the question is, why we keep pushing from the heels to develop lower body strength for sports. Well, I'm going to show you something different. It's called the lineman squat. Jeff is going to show us how to do it. He's going to come from behind, step forward, load, side step twice. Now, notice immediately his position. I mean, scapula it, is relaxed, shoulders neutral, wrist neutral. There is the right muscle tension here going on. Okay, there's no fight. Now, notice that there's no load on his cervical base. Everything is resting on his traps. Traditional Bible squat, usually you're resting on, behind your back, which may create some potential shear forces. Now, let's go back to the uh, angle squat or lineman squat. Look at the angle. The angle is one of the most important things of this movement pattern. Bar to body, 90 degrees. Why? Well, because we want Jeff to drive throughout the entire range of motion from the ball of his feet. Notice that his ankles are naturally, he's not forcing this, he's naturally, you know, his heels are off the ground. All right? His calf are under tension. Okay? Now, here, he's going to do three reps, so you can see the movement, how Jeff, you know, performed uh, hip, knee, and plantar dorsiflexion. Go ahead, Jeff. Three, one. He's driving all the time. He's pushing forward, driving forward. And three. Now, when you compare that with the traditional barbell squat, notice that when I set the bar behind my neck, look at my joint alignment, especially at my shoulders, wrist, hyperextended, my scapula retracted, so I can create, I can create a base, a pad, on the to receive the bar. Okay, and it's resting on my cervical base. Okay? Now, once I set my, my feet placement, I have to sit back on my heels. Now, we're going to do three reps so you see the difference. How he's drive, driving from the ball of his feet, and I am pushing from my heels. Ready? Go. One, two, and three. Now, as strength coaches, we need to do what's best for our athletes. You know? And in this particular case, we might want to consider the lineman squat or the uh, angle squat in order to develop athleticism by driving from the ball of your feet. 